Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to get into the latest episode from Rainbow High Season 4, Project Rainbow, Episode 3, introducing the team Rainbow High. So let's get into uh, before it. Before we get to the actual episode, first, we got the Italian version. Uh, it got released early. I don't know why. I don't know why these different Rainbow High YouTube channels, they they have a very randomized uh, upload schedule. Um, but So yeah, the Italian um, YouTube channel, which I didn't even know they had a Rainbow High Italy YouTube channel, but they do. So now we know. <laughs> so, so they do uh, upload the episodes here for season four as well. And they uploaded it first before the, um, you know, main YouTube channel did. So that's why at first I was kind of like confused when I saw pictures. I was like, where is this coming from? Is it, a, is it uploaded already? So the episode starts off with Sunny and Luna, you know, like explaining this week it's all about Rainbow High because last week it was all about Shadow High. Sunny's very excited and Luna's like, oh my god, oh joy, <laughs> rainbow high, here we come. So we get introductions for all the characters, of course, um, starting off with Michelle and the voice actress, actually, um, I saw her uh, somewhere on Instagram and she was super sweet. Here's Olivia, we got to see her shots a while back, uploaded by the Germany YouTube channel. And then here's Avery. She actually gets some new shots, uh, even though even though I think we already got to see her introduction shots in episode one. So this is, but this is new. She looks really good here. Uh, here she's actually on her own. So because before I think they had her with Aiden paired up. So really cool. She looks really glamorous, all purple. You know, Priscilla here. She, uh, we got to see her already, nothing new. Um, and then Aiden, uh, he is really, uh, he, they really, you know, turned him from like a nice periwinkle his color palette to just plain white because like even his hair look at that it's just white uh really a shame because um i think his color theming being like opalescent and like periwinkle was a really nice unique thing for him uh so now he's just all white it's just kind of like very boring so that's a shame here's victoria and i actually was going to make a video before this new episode came out uh talking about new clips for victoria because uh she actually um we got new clips of her specifically in the also uploaded to the YouTube uh, Germany Rainbow High channel. Uh, and I'm not sure. I think they showed all those clips also here in the episode. So uh, that's why I didn't make the video. But um, yeah, because they're all here in this episode. We got a close up of her feet, shoes. Uh, look at her. She's so cute. I, I just love the brown eyelashes as well. The freckles, really cute. Uh, and she actually has an accent. I don't know why, but I I think we heard her before, like pre previously, and um, I don't think she had an accent before. So I'm pretty sure sh they changed the voice actress here, or maybe that they just recorded new lines for Victoria. So um, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I remember not hearing an accent for her, even though, again, she's Australian. So that was weird from, from, from the start that she didn't have an accent, but they fixed that. So she now has an Australian accent. So that's really cool. Um, here's Skylar some close-ups look how cute she is she's the only one with sunny as well who's stayed from the main gang unfortunately and then kim she's also blue we got two blue girls here uh and she also has uh some gorgeous close-ups and then we get to the actual you know plot of the episode um you know, if you've seen the last episode, you know what's gonna happen. Basically, they introduce Maria, and Maria's like, yes, it's me, worship me. Everyone's very impressed with Maria, even Skylar, and then Maria starts to explain the, the gist and like what's gonna happen. So basically, uh, there's no Shadow High. So there's no Shadow High here because they're gonna talk about uh, accessories. And uh, unlike with the Shadow High team, where they had to, you know, design uh, uh, like, a, like a clothing item, the Rainbow High team, has to design accessories it's all about accessories so very interesting we can see a close-up here of some accessory pieces some of which have been used um previously like with the shoes these are i'm pretty sure stella's shoes uh these were probably seen on amaya in season one or something and then here we have a pink purse really cute a belt sunglasses this is like th these are coco's sunglasses i believe uh these look like ramona's sunglass uh reading glasses and we're gonna talk about accessories and a Avery is the head um, leader, I guess, from the group. And Maria just like straight up said, Avery, you're you're the group leader. And it's really weird because in the last episode, like the, Maria said, like, who wants to be the leader? And and Dia was like, you know, me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this time around, it's like, nope, I'm choosing for you. So it's Avery and they straight away go to a brainstorming session talking about what, like what they should do obviously uh, we hear some more of victoria she's like explaining that she had experience with accessory making with beads and pearls uh, uh michelle wants to make a pair of shoes and then uh priscilla is not really fond of that idea because apparently shoes you know might be too ambitious uh but apparently uh avery, avery has a very similar idea because they do end up making uh, a pair of shoes along with a pair of bracelets and also earrings so that's what they're gonna make now and we got a cute little montage uh here we can see aiden struggling which does actually play a role as we get to the end of the episode um here we can see they're all paired up in teams of two look at the earrings here they look really detailed again like the detail here is amazing uh and uh, you know we can see michelle working with um kim here we can see priscilla working with olivia for the shoes and then of course we just saw skylar working with victoria working on the earrings and so now we get to the you know break time you know check-in time with sunny and luna and maria and then maria doesn't look too impressed uh with the accessories that they've made um yeah because uh, she says they look kind of blah so the shoes even though they're nice apparently because the sole has a detail you're not actually going to see that when you know you wear the actual shoe because it's going to be covered by your foot so she kind of you know tells avery that maybe they should improve their designs a little bit with the few hours left that they have and so the group is very um befuddled they're like what are we gonna do uh and so avery has an idea she explains that it's not the actual accessories the execution that are not good it's that because the accessories don't have a outfit to match that it's not as strong as they could be and so now they go to make a full on outfit to match the accessories to really you know highlight the accessories and um bring it home so that's what they do a dress full-on new design we can see everyone working hard uh and uh, looks really cool we can see a nice bonding moment with victoria and olivia and then here it's the end like right away five seconds later we're good to go <laughs> so you know it's time to wrap it up so the twins come in explain that uh, announce that and then we go and we move over to the um last scene uh in the auditorium just like with the last episode everyone's looking very worried you know all of the girls are like what's gonna happen and you might have noticed avery is kind of missing that's because she's actually modeling the outfit herself and we can see the inside of the dress here with the shoes as well we can see the rainbow high uh, rainbow gradient on the bottom and here's the actual reveal of the outfit the dress is super sparkly and look at her cute ass little bangs so yeah it really does highlight the accessories that they created the earrings the you know bracelets the shoes but maria doesn't look too impressed and so Aiden's very worried <laughs> um but here we get a really nice close-up shot of the dress and the sequins it's a kind of like it's giving me roxy bland you know it really is giving me roxy vibes just the overall uh color the sequins detailing and also uh the design even though roxy's dress was a mermaid silhouette so it's just i think just because they're both very similar strapless long gowns that's because they are so it's just very similar and not i mean it's a cute dress and avery looks amazing with a high ponytail um and actually a lot of people really would like to see this made into a doll like because the initial avery doll obviously she has wigs and so um we never really got a avery doll with rooted hair and so people really are dying to get an updated version of her doll and so people really would i've seen a lot of people you know fawning over this new look for avery and how maybe this this could be a perfect new release for avery and this could be her very own kind of like a runway moment you know like with the main girls so she looks amazing you know will it happen i'm not sure but it gets even better because the actual dress lights up yes so you can see here it lights up like a christmas tree <laughs> it literally i'm not even sure i'm not even sure if these are just like um just the light reflecting off of sequins or if this is actual light like sewn into the dress like led lights uh i don't know <laughs> like they had only like three hours left and they were able to pull this off i feel like that would be very 
complicated and complex to pull off but i guess not so here we are it looks amazing with the light up you know close-ups and also this shot was actually the one shot that we got to see um like a long time ago mixed in a new uh, rainbow high series 5 commercial remember this was that shot it got you know it just I, it was by my mistake included into the animation and so uh this is now we know where it comes from so this is the dress and uh it all went well and now we get to the final um you know i guess consensus by maria so she says the bracelets you know the earrings the shoes the gown it was a really gut like it, it took guts to uh really pull off a whole dress when the original assignment was just to make accessories but they really pulled it off but unfortunately they didn't really see the last episode where uh the team had to you know vote one contestant out and so now even though they're all happy Unfortunately, it's very short-lived because now they are left to voting someone out of the group. And so before everyone can go and do that, Aiden, shocking twist, he's like, no, wait, I'm just going to vote myself out. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave. <laughs> so it's really, it really, it sucks. It sucks for Aiden because, you know, we want it so badly for him to get more screen time, for him to have more to do with Avery and just in general. And then he's the first one to go just because he's the boy, basically. Just literally, like, that's the only reason. And also because, like I mentioned before, there were a couple of moments in the process of, you know, while they were making the accessories and the dress, um, we saw Aiden struggle. He was the only one who seemed to really struggle with the process and he made a couple of mistakes. But like, really? you're good you're just gonna you're just gonna vote yourself out just because oh you made a couple of mistakes you you pricked your finger like two times and you're like right away you're like okay well maybe it's not for me <laughs> so okay bye it's like it's so crazy but uh yeah so aiden he votes himself out he basically sacrificed himself for the better of the group um but you know they're all happy obviously because they're not leaving and they give him a group hug so that was nice at least and Lu uh, luna and sunny they're here as uh, as well of course and sunny's like oh my gosh group hug i gotta join in you know luna says like yeah you got you you guys rainbow high loves the the group the group hugs they just they're so into it so yeah they they that they do a group hug it's a thing and uh that's that's it that's the end of the episode uh until two weeks from now when we get another episode and that's what luna says you know like next episode we're gonna get to see finally actually the two teams go head to head and um who's gonna win so that's what's gonna happen next episode and since we haven't seen any of the new model shadow high characters that we got to see earlier in a clip that's what i'm gonna think uh that that's what i think is gonna happen in the next episode we're gonna get to see the model the new shadow high character model uh model characters introduced and then we're gonna get to see more about the um you know like what they're gonna wear and like what's what's up with like those plates you know so that's gonna happen i believe those are shots from a again next that next episode but it kind of sucks that we again we have to wait and i don't know overall i just feel like kind of i, I feel very uh let down i don't know it's like this episode was fun but like even the structure from the start to like beginning to end like it was all the same like with the episode two like the whole structure the introduction of the characters the brainstorming session um the middle the check-in point with uh, luna sunny and maria and then the ending like it was all the exact same the structure was the exact same and i get that that's the point with these contestant kind of like you know competition shows the structure is the same because it's how it works but i don't know just it just felt very repetitive and um very uncreative like you know you know it just it really lacked any sense of like you know like oh yeah they they really care <laughs> like no they really did the bare minimum here like story-wise like it's just shadow high like last time we had shadow high and now we have the rainbow high version of that episode based like literally it's just the rainbow high version of that episode so kind of sucks i don't know season four so far has been kind of like again very disappointing uh just 
just kind of blah, you know, meh. So let's hope it kind of picks up. And um, I hope, I don't know, I just, I miss the old seasons, you know, I really do. So let's see what happens. But that was, that was the episode. Let me know what you think of this latest episode down below. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time, stay peachy. Kisses and happy weekend.